Hi, it's Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com. This is a follow-up video. I just, just recently made a video using TradingView, paper trading, and how to put on those uh, stop uh, market orders to get into a trade, uh, where those original stops and how to place those. But now this trade is doing well. It's about $175 in profit. So I wanted to come on and make this video and just just basically talk about how to make it risk-free. It's very simple, but I think it's just, again, it's important just to learn these very simple things. So it's a very quick video. So now this was our entry at this point here. The short started to gather momentum. So it's just hitting the previous New York uh, opening range. So this could act as support. So what I wanna do is make it risk-free. So I need to move this stop where it is now to a couple of ticks below the original entry. So if it comes back at me, I've lost no money. And that's one of the most important trade management rules. Once we've started to gather some momentum here, we need to make it risk free. If it runs, great, hits the target, fantastic. Um, if it doesn't and turns back on you, you don't want to be caught out. So very, very simply grab hold of it with your left mouse button, drag it down, you can see here we're, we're plus 25 in the box here. So we're two ticks below the original entry because you're still gonna have, uh, when you're not paper trading, you're trading this for real, you're still gonna have around about uh, $12.50 charge fees and things like that. So let that go. Then it asks you if you want to modify the orders, click modify. So then the order will go there. So now we are risk free. The trade's gathering momentum. We're $200 in profit right now. There are options now to, if you wanted to continually adjust. So every time the candle closed and you wanted to adjust that stop just above the closing candle, you do the same thing. Remember, we have the take profit limit order here. Now, if you see that this is gathering momentum and you, you, you actually think that actually this could really go, you can click, drag, and drop the here down to this sort of pivot point here, modify the order. So now what you can do is you've, you've actually gave it a lot more room to breathe. Yes, it could find support here, but what you can do then is just use a trading stop method by just dragging and dropping that stop to adjust, to lock in profit as you're going along, but you've given it more room down to the downside. If you don't think that's uh, okay for you and you want to make sure that this pivot is taken into consideration uh, and you want to just take less profit but it's more likely to, to get there, drag, drop, modify. Very, very simple. So I just wanted to sort of catch, um, catch up with the trade that I set up. I'm going to put the link down below for this um, for the video where I used to set up to actually put that stock market order on to sell using the range breakout strategy so this now is risk free free for me and hopefully this video makes sense when you watch the first one in the link